So now I'm going to talk about uh, class constructors. Um, class constructors are a way you can uh, help initialize some values of a class that you may be initial, uh, instantiating. So uh, let's follow along with the example on solo learn and then maybe we will play with it a bit to uh, show some different possibilities. So to begin with, we're going to create the class person like they did on the site. So we have the class person, and it has a private field, um, age, and uh, we are going to create a constructor. And to do that, we are going to have the same name as the class. The constructor will have the same name as the class, so we will make that public person. And when we create this class, they just have it say, hi there. I'm just going to say, hi world. Um, so within our program, let's create an instance. We'll say, person Tom equals new person. Um, We'll run this, and if I did everything right, hi world. So we've created a class, and we create an instance of this class down here, and as soon as this class is created, it calls the constructor, and the constructor is just saying hi world. Um, but let's say we wanted to um, be able to set that age. And um, we wanted to be able to do that without having to create either a public field or using a property or something to, to adjust to age. We just want to be able to say new person and have my age be included in here. So new person, Tom is 30, and that way it would automatically store the age. It's kind of a quick way of, of adding data to our, our instance of the class. Well, constructors allow us to do this. So before we get too far, why don't we create uh, the function that they have for um, being able to display the name. We'll have public. Um, well, we'll just say void for now. I know this is a little different than what they're doing. Um, show age. Say console dot right line, and we're instead of returning age, we're just going to show age. So now here, um, I should be able to say Tom dot show age. And since we haven't set it, it's probably not going to show anything. Uh, maybe show zero. Um, and I'm missing a semicolon there. Let's try that again. Zero. All right. So we don't have any value of age right there. And that's because we it's private and we haven't set it. But let's add another constructor, public person. But this time, um, we are going to say int uh, age. And we'll do a for age. And then we're going to say age equals a. So what we can do now is we can say person Brian equals new person and say he's 40. And so after Tom, which will st still show nothing, we can say Brian dot show age and we can run that. And it worked. So we have our class person and we've uh, created instance of this class in two different ways. 
We one using this constructor that doesn't have any uh, parameters for us to pass. So it just says hi world. And the second one, when we uh, create uh, the instance of Brian, we use our second constructor. Again, it has the same name as the class it's in. And we are able to pass it directly the int that we want to store into age. So that's a quick way to initialize different variables within your class.